Dozens of surfers have paid tribute to shark attack victim Ben Gehring in a paddle out off the Mandra coast. For the first time, the 29-year-old's father opened up about the loss of his son and his concerns over our shark alert system. A grieving surfing community coming together for a mate. Remembering the life of 29-year-old Ben Gehring, mauled to death by a great white shark in nearby waters off Falcon Bay just two weeks ago. Keeping a watchful eye on the group, a jet ski tasked with patrolling for sharks. For many, including 31-year-old brother Rick, this is the first time they've set foot back into the ocean since the fatal attack. Day by day and just, just still a roller coaster really. We have our moments and you know, then we just push on through. Watching on from shore, Ben's fiancée, Jasmine, pregnant with their first child and his parents. Father Shane fronting the cameras for the first time since his son's death. Pretty proud. Very proud. <laughs> the Gehring family say more needs to be done to protect the community from sharks and say relying on online alerts and shark warnings isn't enough. There was two shark sightings that day that Ben was taken and they weren't taken seriously. Potentially my brother could still be here. They've got to do something. You know, there's some smart people out there. Work it out. You know, ask the fishermen. You know, if it means culling a few sharks, but do a proper quota on it. The Gehring family say Ben's ashes will eventually be scattered into the ocean. Rebecca Johns, Nine News.